Chapter 5 They made good time, and reached the top a little over an hour later. Steph was a little out of breath, but it wasn't an easy climb, and she was more used to hauling books to class and drinks to tables, than climbing hills anymore. She was a little surprised Noah had kept up with no problem, but then, some emergency rooms were busy day and night. Maybe he was used to being on the run, all night. Steph led the way, topping over the peak several steps ahead of Noah, but instead of stopping to enjoy the view, she stepped to one side and turned to watch his face as he came up behind her. She'd seen the view she'd come up here for several times, and she wanted to enjoy his face as he saw it for the first time. She wasn't disappointed, as she caught the sheer wonder on his face as Noah's attention went from her to the view behind her of the lake and valley below. Noah stood for several minutes and Steph gave in to the intense urge to snap a photo of his face before she turned to take the picture she'd come for. She left him standing stunned by the sight below them while she took pictures from several spots along the ridge so she could capture as much of the valley below and the way the light hit at this time of day as she could. It was several minutes before he spoke. Wow. Just wow. It's lame and inadequate yet somehow fitting. Steph smiled as she laughed quietly and paused to take it in. It is. How did you find this place? I had a boyfriend in high school who was into hiking. A group of us came out between sophomore and junior year. I broke up with him a few weeks later, but at least he showed me this place. Unless he was a real asshole, it was worth it. Noah glanced at her. No, he was okay. Well for a high school jock, but you're right. This place is worth it. He was quiet for a few minutes, his gaze going from her to the view and back several times. You do a lot of hiking? Not as much as I used to. She glanced over her shoulder at him. Why? Curious. I thought you might know of more spots like this around here. I do. She finished with her pictures, then sat on a rock. Can you spot your place from here? Noah moved up beside her and sat. He was quiet for a bit then, nope, no clue. Okay there, you see where the finger of water comes out like this? Steph outlined the lake in the distance with one hand in the air. I do. But that's not where Tate's place is. You're right. It's a little up this way. You can just see the glint of the sun off the glass wall out to the lake right now. Oh, I see it. He looked for a second. How did you know Tate's place has a glass wall? Stephanie smiled. I grew up on this lake. I know most of the cabins. It didn't register right away, but you introduced Tate yesterday. I don't know that I've ever met him, or if I did, he was enough older that I didn't pay much attention, but the Copelands have been coming up for years. I know where their place is. Noah turned back to the lake without a word. After a minute he asked, where's your place? Steph shrugged her backpack off and unzipped it. Turkey and cheese or peanut butter and jelly? She asked without answering him. What kind of jelly? I grabbed the strawberry this morning. I'll take that. He paused. Does that mean you have to have turkey? Nope. She pulled the sandwiches out of her bag and handed him one. I made two of each. I only have to have turkey if I want to. But then so do you. She pointed out the docks and the store while they unwrapped and ate their sandwiches. She told him about the store and how she'd grown up working there, then pointed out her parents' house, or what little of it could be seen from here. Since the store was on the water, the house was set back a little more, and it was harder to see from this far away. They talked about different spots around the lake and other things while they ate. When all the sandwiches were gone, Steph packed up all their trash and a couple stray cans she'd found up here to haul back down. You ready? Noah took one last long look at the valley below. Yeah, I guess. We can stay a while longer if you like. 
No, I'm good. I'll just pay attention and try to find my way back. You could do that. Or we could do this again, and I could show you someplace new. You would be willing to do that? He frowned and tilted his head to one side as he watched her. Why not? I've enjoyed today. I've been wanting to get more pictures for a while I'm back at school, and you've been good company. Why do you want the photos anyway? They started down the hill, and Steph eased her way down a rocky spot, before turning to make sure he made it down. I'll use them for lighting references while sketching or painting. You paint? Are you good? I like to think so. She gave him a half-hearted smile, before turning back to the trail and continuing. Have you ever sold anything? I've never tried. I rarely show my work to anyone. Why? I don't know. She was quiet for a few steps. I like it but what if no one else does? She fell silent again. What if I show someone and they tell me I've been wasting my time? If I never show anyone, they can't tell me how bad it is. If you never show anyone, how can they tell you how wonderful it is? Steph stopped cold and turned to look at him. Why would they do that? You obviously care about your art. You took the effort to come all the way out here just to see how the light reflects. I'm willing to bet this isn't your first trip like this. She stared at him, wondering how he knew. After a moment, she turned and continued toward where she'd left the vehicle. You want to do something this afternoon? Noah asked a few minutes later. Like what? Steph checked the time on her Fitbit. It was just now noon, they would be back to the lake before 1.30. I don't know, something on the water. I love the views up here but I came up for the lake. Have you ever been kayaking? I have but I don't have one here, and I don't think Tate does either, so I don't have one to borrow. No worries. We rent them at the store. It's not a weekend so we should have plenty available. They got to her car. You just have to decide if you want to share. Or have one of your own. She unlocked the doors, shrugged off her backpack and put it in the back, taking a bottle of water out for the trip back. You want to put yours back here too? Why not? He dropped his pack in the rear, she closed it up and they each went to their own sides.